This is the Sense Innovations S Dual, uh, dual speaker realistic engine sound module. This has the ability to have downloadable sound put into it, and today I want to show you and really experiment for the first time for me uh, how to go through this process because Bumblebeast needs what I would say the perfect sound if we can find it. Okay, so I'll turn down the lights here. Somebody asked in the last video where I got this. This uh, says Sunshine Systems, www.hobbyleds.com. I did get it several years ago. I was just kind of waiting. You can set it to doing uh, different patterns, right? Like, so for example, if I wanted it just blue, just green, red, different variations like brown all the way down to yellow uh, and just you know purples and different colors like that we'll keep it blue for today just because it is bumblebee but yeah you can have it doing different types of crazy um, crazy flashing things for you but regardless we're here for the sound so let's move on what's going on guys you can see me th straight through the screen and the camera Check this out, this is uh, RC Plus, the software that comes with the Sense Innovations S-Dual. We'll just let it run the program here. I'll get my face out of the way so you can see what's going on. All sounds are free. Now that is an RC company going out to the community. This has a whole bunch of different sounds. There's local sounds that you have on your PC, or you can go to the store where it's actually broken out in all car, aircraft, boat, and auxiliary. Uh, same tabs here at the top and you're allowed to sample each uh, sound right on the side. And in fact, you can even download them. So if I'm looking for a specific sound for my truck, for example, I'm gonna go into the car section down here at the end, it's got SUV, short truck, crawler, tow truck, turbocharger, and brake sounds. If you guys caught my last video uh, where I unboxed the S Dual and put it into Bumble Beast, it did have a pretty good throaty roar to it, but it really was more like a Harley Davidson uh, slash older style truck. And though Bumble BST is kind of an older truck, I'd still like it to have like a super turbo diesel. So I figured we could sample some of these sounds to see what you think. I went into the tow truck area and had a listen, so have, have a listen at this. It's a V8, 540 horsepower. See, not too crazy. That's more of like a lorry truck, I'd say. So then here's a V8 Scania, 730 horsepower. Okay, not bad. Now, please remember, you guys are hearing these sounds through my uh, the Surface speakers, plus you're hearing it through the microphone of my camera, and then you're hearing it through yours again. So it's you know it's it, it's not the best sound quality you could hear. But let's go ahead and move on to the crawler sounds, where it's got pictures of trucks. Here is crawler D. Come on, play. Okay, not bad. I didn't like the idle, and plus it sounds like a smaller truck. Let's hear Crawler B. Eh, I don't know. So here is the little dongle that comes with it. It's a USB stick, and then you can stick the throttle input in uh, um, for the sound box right into here, and then plug it into your USB port. So we're moving the throttle from the uh, receiver port from the uh, S-Dual. Just going to pop it in there, making sure the signal wire goes on the right side.
This is new, I haven't seen this before. Firmware version 3.0.6, you are up to date. Okay, cool, so configuration, cars. Crawler C is default, and then I have short course buggy. Is that already on there? Maybe that's why I liked it so much, configuration. Let's see what I can do here. Whoa, let's get me out of the picture here so I'm not distracting you guys. Sorry about all the glare. That's the one I have in there for sure. Man, I wish it had like a wastegate. Okay, so let's see what we have there now. Short course buggy, that's what I have on there. Yeah, that's the stock sound I'm running right now. Cool. I still like that one. I can even choose what horn I want. <laughs> it's gonna be a machine gun for Bumblebeast. Nice. So the brake is enabled in forward, forward and reverse. That's cool. Volume for the brake. I'll turn that up to 120%. Save. I have never seen this before, guys. I figured you guys would want to see this. Turbo effect is enabled. Yes, volume. I love the sound of a turbocharger, so I'll put it up to 120. I'm sure none of this is going to make sense for the engine sounds that I pick, but whatever. Custom sound component like horns and guns enabled. Yes. P W M direction forward reverse forward it is the value uh, in milliseconds and the volume everything's good to me right on okay so that one is configured for part one part two I might as well go in I'll do this off camera and then we'll just get to listening to the final sounds Okay, the final two picks. It's totally up to you guys. What do you think? Here we go with sound number one. It's plenty loud, believe me. Those wondering about the glitching, it's actually my uh, radio itself. I gotta replace the old Spectrum radio, so don't worry about that. It's not the sound box. Here we go, starting it up the second time. I like this one. This one's got a good diesel sound to it. I like that one quite a bit. I think that one's going to stick with the machine gun sound. It's been a great day to test out different sounds. And finally, I think Bumblebee has his voice, uh, at least for his engine rumble. Guys, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for joining me today. I know it's been a long adventure for me to try and find the right sound for Bumblebeast, uh, but I wanted to make sure he sounded beastly. That was exactly the whole point. And now 
I can go into figuring out how to give this guy a little bit of a body lift. I wouldn't mind having some inner wheel wells done, but I still like being able to see the color shine through. Uh, but I think a little bit of a lift, and especially in the back box, would be uh, appropriate. But overall, my friends, thank you so much. It's been a great build project. Uh, the snow is just starting to melt outside. I'm sure we're about to get some more, but spring is on the way, and we can get this fella out on the trail. I'll still take him out in the snow uh, if you want. Leave me a like click if you still want me to take him out and give you a look at him in the snow at least and uh, we'll see what I can do for you. Until next time my friends, thanks for tuning in. Get outside and have some fun with RC. You know I do.